here at Seven Star Liquors this morning. We're gonna go check them out. This is really close to a popular beach that a lot of people go to. And on Facebook, their store pics have been blowing up. So Seven Star Liquors, let's go see what they have. All right, we're here at Seven Star Liquors with Chris, the owner who helps pick all these beautiful store picks. Now, Chris, tell me a little bit about these store picks. Which, which are the ones that you really enjoy? Um, the few that I really enjoy, honestly, are uh, the barrel rye that's rested in Oloroso sherry cask. It's, even for people who aren't rye fans, they love it because you get a lot of that, little bit of sweetness off the Oloroso, you don't get a lot of the spice. So it's actually a good bridge for somebody who's never gotten into rye. Yeah. So this is the one I've seen on, on Facebook that's mm -hmm. really interests me because I'm a big barrel guy. Yeah. Even though they're not making most of their stuff, they're really good at blending. Oh, yep. you, of course you got a tanner sticker on No, of course, it is back. stickered, of course. Yeah, man, I love that, that's great. Um, another one we did uh, recently, we actually did with a local club, uh, was a bullet single barrel pick. And this one, the club decided they came up with a sticker off a of Full Metal Jacket. We do a lot of uh, movie themed things here and their version for the club, I took it a little further because my son loves Legos like crazy and we had to do the little army man there uh, on there and wax it. So the nice thing about this one is a lot of people will say, oh, I don't like bullet, not into it, don't like it. I've had some people just use a lot of choice words and what they think of bullet. And I said, try it and then tell me what you think. And they're like, okay, I gotta buy this. Like it is completely different. It's actually using a different yeast strain than most of them are. So most bullets typically are using a strawberry yeast strain. So it gives it that same flavor profile. This is actually using a jackfruit yeast strain, which is newer for them. Um, and you don't find very many of them. In our research, I think we found like one other store pick somewhere that try, did it. It just gives it a completely different flavor profile and people absolutely love it. Even people who don't like bullet. I've never heard of that jackfruit yeast strain before. That's new. Couldn't tell you if I've ever tried a jackfruit or what the hell it tastes like, but you know, hey, I'll, you know, whatever. It doesn't look pretty when you Google it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this is the one that a lot of people are going to be curious about. I yeah, mean, this so is, we this decided to have a little fun with this one. Pepto-Bismol um, style. Yeah, well, you know, we took the Barbie uh, theme on there, and uh, the guy who does all of our stickers, uh, Brody, he, um, he was just throwing out ideas and then was joking with me about a bar with this Barbie theme. And I said, great, let's run with that. And of course he wasn't thrilled at first, like you gotta be kidding. But we decided to have a little fun with it. Um, you know, the actual Barbie poster or something says, she is everything, he's just Ken. Well, we've got it saying Buffalo Trace is everything, he's just Shay. Shay is one of the admins of the uh, South Carolina Bourbon Club, so we decided to stick his face on there and have a little <laughs> fun with it. Um, this one, actually, we ta when we tasted it, uh, typically Buffalo Trace is all roughly the same. And let's be perfectly honest, it can taste like complete crap, and people will still buy it. I right. hate to say it, but one of the barrel selection options was just so off profile in a good way. I was like, this one's mine. This is it. Like, really? different. It's just got a little bit rich richer a little it's a little funky not in a bad way just it's not something you'd expect out of buffalo trace yeah. and it mellowed out after a while being open if you left it in the glass for a little while it turned more into your traditional buffalo trace but with just a hint of something different so yeah. it was it tastes really good and Unfortunately, you know, we get the situation where a lot of people come in and they want to hunt and look for stuff and don't want to buy anything else, mm -hmm. right? So we decided to price it a little differently. $25.99 for the bottle, but you have to buy another store pick. But if you take two store picks, you get the bottle for $5.99. Okay. Wow. So uh, just because some people will literally would, if I just released it on the shelf, they'd line up, buy this and never buy anything else. The problem is, is I got to have hundreds of thousands of dollars of other stuff just to be able to get this once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. And people who aren't buying regular stuff, I got to carry a crap load of other product just, just to, to be able to get to access to a few of these things. Yeah. So. Especially the Sazerac products, the way that they do it, it's all... It's I all volume-based. Yeah, it's all volume. Mm -hmm. So I, I completely understand that um, so. to, to a degree. If somebody came here and they were hunting and they were excited to come to this store, say they're on vacation, they're looking for local store picks because most people can get 
allocated stuff in certain other ways, you know, Facebook or however you do it. But when you come to a local store, you're really trying to pick up something that's unique to that area. So I, I, I appreciate that. So yeah. these Woodenvilles, they're everywhere, but not the store picks in particular. You know, that one's really good. I went what's out. This one. All about? So I went out to Seattle to take uh, to uh, to pick this one, and of the six barrels we went through, this one just really stood out. And what was funny was, um, it's got this kind of butterscotch note to it, mm -hmm. but with this light hint of mint and i'm not saying mint and sometimes you tell people mint and they're like i don't want mint in my bourbon no we're not talking about making a mint julep here it's like it's just you get this flavor profile light just tiny little mint and we were brainstorming and one of the uh sayings in uh willy wonka it's like candy is dandy but uh liquor is quicker and then it happens to say, and I've got to even read this, uh, an invention, my dear. Invention, my dear friends, is 93% perspiration, 6% electricity, 4% evaporation, and 2% butterscotch ripple. That's 105%. And he got kind of pissed when he's like, you put me on a bottle of Woodenville, dude? I don't like Woodenville. Well, then when he tried it, he ended up buying about six bottles about of it, say, and he loves he it. And he, oh, house. and he and it had nothing. He wasn't going to buy it just because of his face on it, but it's really tasty. And I've had many people. We did a barrel pick uh, tasting here one time a few months back, and where we had four different barrel picks out for taste, and most people were shocked by that one. People will judge a barrel pick sometimes or a product by what they've tried on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And look, the ninety proof. I get it. It's, you know, it's not bad, but it's 90 proof. And if you're used to higher proof and stuff like that, you start drinking barrel picks, you don't care about wanting to try anything that's lower proof, right? Because right. you get more flavor. And I tell you, you know, you can proof things down yourself. All it is is water, right? Mm -hmm. Put it on a big ice cube, add a few drops of water. And that's something I always tell everybody. I said, add a few drops of water to anything just to try it. Yeah, You'd especially like mineral water or some distilled water. It changes the... It does. Profile. Honestly, you can do it right out of the tap. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I hate to say it. Uh, the woman in the last video mentioned, don't do it out of the tap, so. Yeah. <laughs> Look, if you want to mix your bourbon with Kool-Aid, it's not my thing, but who cares how you drink it? It's however you want to enjoy it. Yeah. It's all that matters That's in the long true. run. As long as you enjoy um, it. So this one caught my eye. Yep. What is up with this expensive rare character? Now, I've never seen a rare character get into this price point. The Exceptional Series. Now, what's so unique about that? So, Exceptional Series is anything nine years and over for them. Okay. Um, so, and this happens to be a Kentucky single malt. So, it is not a traditional bourbon. It is 65% malt, 35% corn, but it is a single malt, not a variety of malts mm -hmm. uh, like they'll use in bourbon. So, essentially anything from nine years on up. We actually have one we're waiting on that's a 15 year that's coming. Um, these are highly sought after. Uh, people all over the country go crazy for them. If we could ship in this state, they would have been gone the first hour I had them. Really? Um, if we were in a bigger city, they usually, in most major cities, when one of these comes out, they're gone in hours. Uh, when they can sell online, they're gone in minutes, usually. Seriously? Um, and it's just a different flavor. Uh, you get, it's, this one actually happens to be Heaven Hill juice, really. And so if you ever had a Parker's Heritage that was that eight year malt they did a few years back, mm -hmm. this is better. Now, Chris, do you think you can convince me to buy a Penelope pick? Try and sell this to well, me. Well, look, my question is, do you like MGP? Yeah, most of it. So what is it about Penelope that you don't like? What have you tried? I've tried, first of all, I did enjoy the Rio, but that's an oddity. Well, it's right? different, yeah. Yeah, it's different. I have tried the Architect, not the biggest fan of it. There's different builds of those, so maybe I didn't get the right one. And then I've also tried the Barrel Strength, no, the Toasted, not the Barrel Strength Toasted. Okay. I've just tried the Toasted. Got it. What in my jam. So after three tries, I was like, I'm done. I can tell you with the architect, that's one of those that honestly, after a month, let it, you know, enjoy some, try it, let it sit out. That's one of those you can let it sit out in a glass for a couple hours and it even help it. Really? Um, but after a month of letting it get some air at some point, 
you know, one time mm -hmm. makes a huge difference going back to that one. Okay. Um, the toasteds are all different. So this one was a uh, number two char medium toast. The other one we had was a number three char heavy toast. And they also had different mash bills. I'd have to look this one up. This, I want to say this one had a higher rye content. Um, I'm fairly certain of, um, but it's kind of hard to remember after a while. I like the proof point. On this I one. love the way they taste. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge Penelope fan. Those oh, guys are man. great. They do, a, you're not going to offend me. Look, <laughs> there's things you like that I won't like. There's, yeah. it's everybody's taste. I'm not, never going to knock anybody's taste. Um, it's just, each one of these is so different. You can't go by, you know, one experience and you got to give it a few tries to, to really see what you think. You know, they're like their nine year, I've yet to try because I just haven't gotten a chance to. The Valencia is phenomenal. This is the new run, the second run of the 15 year they did, American Light, which their first run is one of my favorite bottles. I went searching for them and bought as many as I could, no matter the price, because they're so good. Mm. Um, I have yet to try that one. Yeah, one of the things with Buffalo Trace, for instance, if you're, you know, they're pre-selecting when you show up, let's be honest. They're pre-selecting the barrels for the pick, whether you're going there or they send you samples. And they're making sure they're not sending you something that isn't along their profile, right? Yeah. Every now and then they might give you something a little different like we got, but it's yeah. still on profile and it's rare to ever get anything, you know, from them. That's extremely that's, out of pocket. Yeah, that's yeah. bad either. We've had barrel picks. I had gotten around to barrel picks uh, from one of the managers of the distributor and when we tried one of them, I lit and he's the rep said, look, when you're done, let me know so I can pick them up because whatever, you, if you're not going to take them or if you're not taking all of them, those samples will be available for others. Mm -hmm. I took one of them and literally dumped it out and told him, I said, it is not fit for human consumption. There is something wrong with this thing. <laughs> I said, I left you just enough to send back to them. Do not let anybody try this. We couldn't get the taste out of our mouths. And the only thing we can chalk it up to is somebody probably didn't clean the bottle thoroughly. So um, what about this? I mean, this is a... We don't pick those, sadly. They basically send them to us. You yeah, know, you aged just... in Blanton barrels. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And um, that one's sweet. It's like, it's almost like drinking Kool-Aid. If you like tequila, they're great. <laughs> uh, we've gotten one before with an E.H. E. Taylor barrel. And you get different flavor profiles off yeah. of them. Is so. this is this an additive free tequila? No, it no? is not. Okay. So we got some G four, which I actually got to try the other day. And I really liked it. And then we also got the Fortaleza for ninety nine dollars. Not sure what retail is on these, but these are like an allocated tequila. So I've gotten to try this as well. Really enjoyed it. And then he also has the other one, Danejo, for 170. Well, Chris, I got a question for you. What is your top two shelfers that you have that you just love to drink on the regular that are just available on the shelf at any point? Oh boy. Yeah. Should have known you'd put me on the spot. Yeah. Have to... uh... No way. All Granddad 114 is probably one of the more underrated uh, it's so good. It's really good, and you can't beat the price, especially when we can get it is the problem because it now it's gotten to a point where it's allocated. And is it really? Yeah, it's we get it only every few months if we're lucky, um, sadly. So don't tell me that people are gonna fly out here and oh, start by all, it up. I'm running a business, not a charity. Um, <laughs> it's just any of the Russells. So if there's single barrel available, absolutely. Otherwise, the 10 years awesome. You you ever thinking about doing a pick with them? Oh no, we did one once, and it's uh, we tried. I asked for last year, and unfortunately, they cut the barrel allocation to the state. So, oh yeah. And I'm asking again already to see if we can get in on a barrel pick That'd for this great. year, but uh, we'll That's, see. Oh, I mean, don't don't skip past this though. <laughs> oh, the uh, the fact that you still have these on the shelf. Yep. 
is crazy. Because I even... bought out most of the distributor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I bought out the majority of what they had because they don't exist anymore. That's a great deal. I mean, you buy two of them, yep. and you even get 10% off, and that's a very, very good price on them, too. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, there's, and there's things that are on my shelf that aren't always going to be available, too. That's the problem. Like, this finally came to South Carolina a couple weeks back. Yep. And it's the only double oak I really like. It's awesome. I've always been a big fan of yeah. Stellum. The Stellum rye was going to be my other one. The base rye is awesome. I love that rye. Look at that. Won some award. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are, those special blends they do are really good. The new Traveler. I mean, he's got every single one, including the new New Year 2024. That's getting pretty good reviews. And I don't know if you caught this, but this is Barrel's first non-barrel strength offering. It's a five-year, 100 proof. Correct me if I'm wrong, but and they're trying to get into the market of more reasonably affordable bottles yes. for less proof points. Tried samples of each of these um, before we got them, and I'll be perfectly honest. I would drink this hands down over the new year. Really? Yeah, I didn't, I mean, the new year was okay to me. It really was. And this blew me away. And I actually had them mixed up thinking what I was tasting was the new year and then realized it was backwards. For 50 bucks, it's yeah, a good buy? Yeah, and it's a solid buy and it's there every day. So what about, put you on the spot again, how do you handle your allocations? Um, it depends. So, you know, in South Carolina, it's a class B state, meaning you know, we have a class B license. Bars and restaurants have to buy from liquor stores. Mm -hmm. So we prioritize a lot of allocations because we service most of Keough Island Golf Resort. So gotcha. they get 99.9% .9 of our Sazerac allocations, okay. period. Um, otherwise, any annual one-time releases, we do a lottery each year, which we just had a few weeks ago. Okay. Um, probably had over 30 something bottles in it. Um, and. Otherwise, it's I'll just put things out from time to time. I've announced stuff, and we'll just we put it on our Facebook or Instagram page and just drop it out here. We're planning on doing a kind of first ever real like allocation day at some point in the spring. Ooh. I've been saving up some stuff for it. We'll see if uh, I, I haven't been able to figure out when to schedule it because of everything else going on. I'll be there. I don't know when it's going to be, but I'll be there. So. <laughs> just follow us on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I release all of the uh, barrel picks or things like that. I mean, I'll randomly hide stuff in the store. Um, that's a lot then, of stuff to look through. <laughs> and then, well, we don't put it on the top because I'm not having bottle breakage from that. Yeah. Um, and then I'll also say, you know, we'll just load up a shelf with things. You'll never know what you can find on shelves. There's no such thing as shelf space in here, right? No. You know, people talk about, oh, bottom shelf. Well, I I've put bo a Buffalo Trace out and I put it in the bottom shelf. It's because I don't have any room for it. Right. It has nothing to do with the fact that... You, know, you can make some shelf space getting rid of these. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> trust me, there's days I wish I didn't have them because they're so big. But then people buy them from time to time. So it's it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> yep. All right. So did you hear the news? New Riff is coming to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yep. When do you think that'll be? Uh, next month. Next month? Is what we're told. But I'm not holding my breath. That's exciting. Yeah. Is this your little allocation shelf here? Yep. This is basically where we put everything that's uh, allocated for the most part. Ooh, these old soles are interesting. I don't know anything about them. Oh, they're them. really good. Nine and seven year? Mm -hmm. okay. They're not cheap. The nine years, I think 168 and the seven years 129. Now, I will say I tried the nine year and it is absolutely phenomenal. 168 is kind of pushing it, but it's really good. On my price range. Those 2XO things. Gemma Kentuckys, I mean, it's a 199 MSRP bottle, but mm. they are fantastic. Yes, I have one and it's excellent. Now, I, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you the store that I got it from, but they mispriced it. Yeah. They thought it was one of the uh, American Oaks or something. Oh. And I got it, I got it out the door for $109. Oh. They yeah. paid you to buy bourbon. You got lucky. I know. I got. I they got lucky. They paid you to buy bourbon. They had no clue, but I appreciate it because I called them and told them, and they didn't ask for the money or anything. I was just like, "Hey, you know, you should change that." So I've heard a lot about this Yellowstone 107. I love Yellowstone. The Yellowstone 101. Limestone Branch is a fantastic distillery to begin with, and yeah. I haven't tried the 2023 release yet, um, but I haven't had a bad one of theirs. I'm gonna buy that Valencia. And the only reason I'm doing it is because Dennis 
if you're watching. And I'm actually coming to meet him in about, I don't know, three weeks. And he's been asking me for a Valencia if I ever found it. So Dennis, this one's yours. I'll go ahead and grab it for you. Looking forward to it. I think I'm probably gonna get this just because I'm starting to, starting to really enjoy barrel products. So we'll get this one, which will then allow us to get one of the dunked Buffalo Traces. But I wanna pick out a good wax because <laughs> I am still a tater. Uh, no, maybe right. not. Yeah. I'd say probably go for like something like yeah. either that guy. Yeah, that looks great. I'll take that one. All right. And I'm buying a Penelope, guys, but it's not for me. So there you go. All right. Got a bag full of stuff. And there's a freaking fire truck flying by. Every time I'm in this spot, something freaking crazy happens. And we also got this, which is his store pick rye which is finished in sherry barrels, Oloroso sherry barrels, 127 proof barrel product, sign me up. And then, since I bought that, I was able to get a tater bottle. I finally got a tater bottle, guys. We have a wax dipped, Pepto-Bismol looking, single barrel from Seven Star Liquors with a Barbie. Yes, I somehow own a Barbie bottle now. But super excited to try this. He, he talked it up a lot, so I had to get one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Big shout out to Dennis, Chris Jenkins, all the people that support this channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Check out the Discord. Feel free to join. We got a lot of cool things over there. And then check out the Patreon. You could be one of these great people that I've helped find bottles for. Until next time, guys, Bourbon Hunter, out.